board games. Since the dawn of time, people have played. And with millennia of history, it might be a little confusing to know just where to start. Here at Loading, we've got a six pack of our favorite beginner board games. Let's crack on. Carcassonne. Opening this beginner guide with quite possibly the most generic looking box around. But with four million sales and counting, it's what's on the inside that counts. The first rule of board game club, get used to seeing these things because you'll be seeing them a lot. In this game alone, they can be your score tracker, knights, thieves, monks, and last but not least, farmers. Starting from a barren land, well, tabletop, you take it in turns to place tiles, creating your collaborative version of the city of Carcassonne, wincing and celebrating as you and your opponents aid and sabotage each other's plans. If you end up becoming a fan, this, um, modern classic has a bunch of different expansions that takes it from the perfect beginner game to something that even the most grizzled board game veteran will go back to. I'm thinking I'm back. Splendor. Fancy yourself as a trader? This is Les DiCaprio. More Da Vinci. Welcome to the 15th century. If your knowledge of the Renaissance starts and ends with four green turtles, fear not. All you need to know is, you're mine. Ruby mine, that is. As a diamond dealer, do you hoard your jewels waiting to pounce on those big ticket items? Perhaps build yourself a little empire and then never have to pay for anything again. Whether you trade with honor and nab yourself a noble, or have the stones to short sell your opponents by getting the vital cards they need to complete their set. Another board game lesson. If money doesn't matter, there's always a way to splend a little more. It's a race to hit 15 prestige points. Ultimately though, there's one thing that helps this board game rule them all. Sushi Go. Good things come in small packages. In this battle for sushi supremacy, everyone is looking for their perfect meal deal. This ain't no all-you-can-eat buffet though. Instead, while you're handed a host of tasty treats, you can only take one. So grab what you can from the card-based conveyor belt and see what's been left for you by your friends. Early on in the game, your choice doesn't matter too much, but as the food starts to run out, watch as your so-called friends stab you in the back for the last dumpling. With different flavor combos to go for, it's up to you to mack you the most of each hand. Full sets offer the greatest rewards, but as your rivals see what's hitting your plate, they may start to want a piece for themselves. I'll have what she's having. In this food fight, don't take it too personally. You dim some, you lose some. Spyfall. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Well, you don't really know what your mission is in Spyfall. By the time you've picked up your card, you're already in way over your head and the clock is ticking. All you know is you're a spy. You've got to bluff your way through this and hope that by the time the spotlight is on you, you've gleaned enough information to not stick out like a sore thumb. In order to claim victory, all the spy has to do is work out where in the world they are and be brave enough to declare it. For those without double O training, it's a little more mundane. Is it really the delivery driver's first day on the job? Why does the manager not know what time he's supposed to start work? Either way, you need to ask the questions and give cryptic answers to find your friends and flush out the spy. She doesn't even go here. When the timer reaches zero, will the people win or will the spy fall? This is Sparta! Actually, this is a day spa. I'm a masseur. King of Tokyo. Bluffing and mind games, not your style. Well, this one is a monster, or rather... You're a monster! The problem is, you're not the only one who just can't wait to be king. Which unique character do you pick? Will you be Cyber Kitty? Alienoid? Space Penguin? Mecha Dragon? Gigazor? Run! It's Godzilla! It looks like Godzilla, but due to international copyright laws, it's not. Yeah, but I'm sure they're not all legally distinctive. How about the king? Oh, there's something very Kong with that. Do you take pride of place atop the hill that is Tokyo City, taking lumps from everybody but lapping up those extra victory points? Earn and buy upgrades that can make you formidable? 
or sit on the sidelines licking your wounds and hoping the others will take each other out. What makes this game special is the ability to push your luck to its very limits. Maybe gambling on that final reroll to get what you need for victory. Come on, come on! Papa needs a new pair of shoes! Yo! Dixit. Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then I'll begin. It's said every picture tells a story. The challenge in Dixit is what story will you choose to tell? This game is all about the art of storytelling, with each of the included 84 tarot-sized cards containing a mini masterpiece for you to admire and hold in your hand. Let me set the scene. On your turn, choose a card from your hand, place it face down, and give a short clue, like... Human. All the other players try to match your card with a card of their own. Everyone then votes on which card they think belongs to the storyteller. Are you hitting this? Yes sir, it's uploading back to base camp. Human. What you score depends on how many people guess correctly. But, a word of warning. You want to keep it a little vague. If everyone guesses correctly, your tail earns nothing. For each point you gain, you move your rabbit one space around the track. In this race to the finish, you want to be herring along and be the first of 30 points. I haven't been this taken with a bunny since the mid-90s. Dixit can be played on many different levels. Maybe you'll be highbrow playing with your parents, reach new depths of depravity with your colleagues, or become seemingly clairvoyant with your closest pals. Even though it's the same story, there's a million different ways to tell it. And with that, this tale reaches its end. So that was six of our favourite beginner board games. If we've missed one of yours, let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and if you want more, we'll see you at loading.bar. Thanks for watching.